praised the Taliban in the past. Would you do so again tonight? The world is not black and white. The world is grey. It's very difficult to sit and make black and white assumptions about anything, to sit and say that the Taliban are completely and utterly evil and we're completely and utterly good, as you just discussed with the moral high ground. I believe that the Taliban bring law and order. It may not be the law and order we like, but it's a form of law and order, and humans tra- usually gravitate towards... What about towards... their treatment of women? I mean, only well, tonight... Compl- is, only tonight they have banned any women from going to university. Fantastic. Let's get the feminists to go and teach them a lesson. The feminists are so tough... And they stand up and say they can do anything a man can do. Let's arm them up and send them to Afghanistan. I'm sure they'll fix it. No, but it's, it's, not a, it's, a, it's a serious matter, isn't it, that women don't uh, that's get a, the education and that, they and deserve? That's, and that's a very serious answer. If women are just as capable as men in terms of combat, like feminists pretend they are, then they can go over there and they can deal with the a Taliban. A lot of women do go to combat. Exactly. So they can go deal with the Taliban. It's nothing to do with me. They can stand up and fight for their own rights. But surely you wouldn't defend the Taliban it, banning women from university. It's saying it's nothing to do with me, Pierce. It's absolutely nothing what to do with me. What about the Afghan women? It's nothing to do with me on any level. You don't have a view? I have a view. My view is that people naturally gravitate towards law and order. And if you didn't have the Taliban, you'd have different warlords operating in lawlessness. And there would be no way to prevent your store, your market stall, getting completely robbed by someone with an AK-47. And people are going to gravitate towards a form of law and order. America left. They left the power vacuum. And the power vacuum is now full. Well, I don't disagree with that. OK. Well, but I do, we think, I do think the banning of women from university in Afghanistan is utterly horrific. And I think the feminists are going to arm themselves. They're going to show us that they can do anything a man can do. They're going to go over there to combat and they're going to teach Taliban a lesson. Why can't you just say on that, you know what, it's completely wrong? Because it's not my point. It's, I don't understand... But it, makes Af- me, it makes me think, and it'll make your critics think, that you don't think it's wrong. They could ban all men. They could ban all short people. But they're people. not. They're only banning women. Correct. They could ban all short people. They could ban all people with long hair. And it, None of it's anything to do with me. So they can do whatever they want. I'm not going to go to war with the Taliban. But you've just literally spent an impassioned first segment comparing the way, for example, Dubai handles law and order Correct. to this country. Correct. So you do express views about different laws. Absolutely. Both places... So when like... I put to you a law that basically bans women from being educated, it's not. why is it a problem for you to say, you know what, it's wrong? There are both places I've resided in, Dubai and London, so I have personal experience. I can give my personal opinion, but like I said, it has absolutely nothing to do with me with what the Taliban decide to do inside of Afghanistan. And if they decide that's the most prudent way to run their society, then we have two choices. We can either go over there and start another war that we shouldn't be involved in and waste a bunch of life, or we can sit and say, it's up to them. They should govern themselves. They're people. We're no better than them. And they've decided to live their lives a particular way, and that's how they're going to live it. Like I said, if feminists are very upset and they're very disgusted by the fact that in Afghanistan, women cannot go to school, I've been told repeatedly by feminists that they're just as capable as men in all realms, and I I expect them to arm themselves and fly over to Afghanistan and fix it. Like a lot of women have done in combat. Um, Good. Congratulations. Go fight. Well, this is the thing that's very interesting. Because when you talk about ideas, it's not even just about Afghanistan and feminism. When you talk about ideas, they must all be defended at some point. There has to come down to violence. The world is backed by violence. Nobody wants to talk about this. It doesn't matter what it is. If you have a disagreement between two parties, eventually, if the disagreement continues, it ends up in violence. Feminism is defended by men. Men stand up and defend feminism, not feminists themselves, because they're incapable of violence. And we're in a situation now where you're saying that we should send men to go and fight for feminism. Why? It's not a man's problem. No, I think I'm saying... feminists believe... I think, well, A, I think men can be feminists too, because if feminism believes in equality for women... It's not about equality. I don't agree with radical feminists who hate men. To me, the radical anything, to me, is a bad thing. Yeah, and I think most feminism in the West currently is radical. Well, some of it is, no yeah. question. Absolutely, but this is my point. My point is that the Taliban are going to do whatever the Taliban decide to do. If I'm going to fly over to another country, I will respect their laws and customs. It's not my job to come along and tell other people how to live. I don't believe I have a moral high ground in that degree. And if people are genuinely upset and disgusted by it, the bottom line in most disagreements on the earth is violence. People who feel like they should go and fix it, then fix it with violence, then it can be the feminists who feel so outraged by it. But it's funny, they don't comment on these subjects, feminists. They seem to instead attack the Western male for some reason. السلام عليكم لا تنسوا الاعجاب بالفيديو والاشتراك في القناه تشجيعا لنا لنستمر بنشر المزيد ان شاء الله